Hey guys, Pygai Rules here, and Merry Christmas everyone! This year I decided to talk about a bunch of Nickelodeon's animated Christmas specials, because they played a big part of my childhood, and a lot of them are really good. So yeah, we'll see how many I can get through here before Christmas, or before I decide to just stop doing this, because really I have a bad habit of not finishing up my Christmas projects. Anyway, we're going to start here with the very first animated Christmas special ever on Nickelodeon, The Santa Experience, a Rugrats episode, of course. I didn't really remember this episode too well, and I wasn't sure why. It could be because it came out before I was born, so I don't remember seeing it new because, well, I must have only ever seen it in reruns. Could be that Rugrats had a ton of Christmas episodes, seriously, at least like three or four. But the real reason, at least what I think after re-watching it, is the fact that the episode doesn't really have too much going for it in terms of plot. It's a little bit vague on that. Now, there's nothing wrong with it because the main plot that's going on is really just the family celebrating Christmas, and that's pretty good for a Christmas special. They cut down a tree, they eat a big dinner, they decorate the tree, sing carols. It is very, very Christmassy and, and just very uplifting and, and in good spirits. There's nothing mean-spirited about this holiday special. Now, that's not to say that there aren't any plots at all. The three main ones are Tommy and Chucky trying to catch Santa Claus because Chucky's afraid of him and Tommy wants to prove that he's a good guy. Angelica pulling a gift for the Magi on Phil and Lil, more on that in a minute. And Chaz and Drew trying to get a Santa Claus to come down the chimney to make the kids feel more Christmassy because Angelica's a monster and revealed the fake Santa at the mall and Chucky is still afraid of Santa. The plot of Tommy and Chucky really doesn't amount to much but a few scenes and Chucky of course being afraid of Santa Claus. The plot with Angelica and Phil and Lil, however, is a little bit more intricate. See, The Gift of the Magi is an old-timey time story about these two people who get each other gifts but sacrifice something, and their gifts relate to what each other sacrificed. It's a cliché because it happens in a lot of Christmas specials. I listed that segment down there because, well, a lot of Christmas specials for TV shows like to pull the old Christmas carol or a Wonderful Life, or Miracle on 34th Street, or Gift of the Magi, and I decided to note it here because, yeah, it's just a Christmas time cliche to rip off these old stories time and time again. But I like the variation here, being that Angelica's the mastermind behind the whole thing. She makes it so that Phil gets Lil crayons for a coloring book, but makes Lil sacrifice the coloring book to get a Reptar helmet for Phil, who has already sacrificed his Reptar. That's the plot, and it's actually quite interesting, because it goes beyond that, in that Angelica thinks that she's been a bad girl, well, not thinks, she actually has been a horrible monster all year long, but in order to make amends for this, she tries to actually fix the problem, but through a series of complications, she's unable to actually fix it, and it all leads to a very heartwarming moment at the end that I won't spoil for you. As for the Chaz and Drew plot, they both want to get a Santa Claus to come and make the kids happy. Chaz wants to be the Santa Claus while Drew wants to hire one. <laughs> it leads to a very funny line where Chaz says that he's a good actor, Drew says that, yeah, he's not. Chaz says he was in the wind in the willows, Drew's like, yeah, you were the tree. And Chaz is like, I was the willow. And it's a funny line and a very funny exchange. As a matter of fact, a lot of this episode is genuinely funny. I gotta say, some episodes of Rugrats just don't hold up for me because, well, they're intended for all ages, and as a result, sometimes it comes off as a bit too childish. But this episode is very equal parts adults and children, and both the adults and children get some very clever dialogue. Oh, and before I forget, this episode has a different title sequence theme. The title sequence visually is the same, but the theme song is played on an organ, and it's just a bit off from the synth music that's usually playing. It was actually a bit eerie when I first heard it, because I thought there was something wrong with the recording I got. Because it just, it doesn't quite sound right. I mean, heck, the Rugrats synth music has always kind of sounded a little bit weird, but I think we all just got used to it. It's very odd, especially because I don't remember them ever changing the title sequence, aside from when they booted from the first title sequence to the second one. I don't remember any sort of variation, so as far as I'm aware, this is the only one. This is also the second double-length episode, right after Tommy's birthday, and what's funny about that is that halfway through the episode, where there would ordinarily be the title card for the next segment, is just something that says later that day. It's pretty clever. Angelica's pretty mean in this episode. 
granted, she's mean in a lot of episodes, but she's pretty mean spirited here, especially for Christmas time. Although, I think it's warranted because A, this is the first appearance of Charlotte, her mother, and as we see on, like, Christmas Eve, she's still obsessing over the phone, and we really don't even get a single scene with her and Angelica together. You get a feeling that she's been neglected, that's been hinted on, but it really kind of hits home here when her mom is just really, really obsessed with that phone. And it kind of paints Angelica in a little bit of a sympathetic light, as bratty as she's being, and also, Angelica repays the brattiness at the end. Again, not gonna spoil it, but there is definitely a really sweet moment that they could have easily have not done and kept her a brat the entire time. One of the things that makes this episode great, aside from the fact that it just feels like family celebrating Christmas in a very realistic way, is that the camera never focuses too long on any character. I mean, we go from Grandpa trying to set up decorations, to Dee Dee and Phil and Lil's mom trying to cut down a tree, to Chaz dressing up as Santa, and while there's not too many plots, the episode never gets boring because the focus keeps getting shifted. For a double-length episode, I gotta say, it went by pretty fast. I will say, though, there is one thing that I did not like, and it's at the very end, because I knew they were going to do this. Again, not gonna spoil it, but it's the revelation about the Santa experience. You know what it means if you've seen the episode. I found it to be really cliche, and I was waiting for it to happen. I just knew they were gonna do this, and to me it feels a bit too much, you know? Maybe if they had just kind of had the guy call and left it at that and been like, what? But they went a bit too into the uh, supernatural for my liking. I don't know. I, I like the show when it's a bit more grounded than anything else, as grounded as a show about toddlers going on adventures could be. But I feel like they didn't need it. I feel like they could have left it a little bit more up in the air as opposed to saying, no, this is definitely this. But again, that's just me, and I get that the show is mainly for kids, so they kind of had to do that and prove that this is this. But that's just a very minor part of the episode, and it really doesn't ruin anything for me. It's just one of my personal hang-ups. Overall, I'd say this is a great Christmas special. If you like Rugrats, you will definitely love this episode. If you're not familiar with the characters, I don't know if you'll get as much out of it, but I'd still recommend it anyway. So, check your local listings to see if Nick's airing it this year. And if not, hey, it's always on iTunes for two bucks. Happy holidays, Pie Guy Rules, out.